Welcome. This is Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. It's the 14th of June, and these are Docs Office Hours Asia. Topics for today. Actually, let's just get started. So special thanks to Damien de Porto for a blog post thanking the sponsors of our mirrors. We've got a really nice collection of mirrors, two in Singapore, uh, one in Japan, one in China, uh, one in Belgium, one in Germany, three in the United States. Uh, OSUSL has two sites for us and Exhibition has one. And we've added a new one in Romania, Postico. And Damien even gives us a nice way to see the status and look here at the list of mirrors across the globe. Now, he also notes we really would benefit by having a mirror donation in India, one in Africa, and one in Russia. We're grateful for the, the one in Romania, but they're taking a very heavy load right now because they are much closer to Russia than Europe is. And so oh, they're yeah. getting a, they're getting a heavy load, and they're they were a little worried about the load from that many requests coming to them. The it certainly I'm sure reduced the load on the one in Belgium, the one in Aachen here. So so there I'm sure very grateful for the addition of Romania. What are the politics of getting a Russian site? I'm wondering if Poland would be easier. Uh, there's actually one that's already there. Oh, okay. Uh, there's already one in Poland. Okay. No, there's already one in Russia. Oh, there's Yandex, one in Russia. Okay. Yeah, Yandex is a is a um, a large ISP in Russia, and they already have a, a mirror site. It's just not fully con configured to be detected as a mirror site. So ah. they ha they're already mirroring the files, but we have to go through the the official process to be sure it's correct and connected and synchronized, etc. So, yeah. so the mirror is there and they're going to try to find the mirror administrators. Cool. Yeah, very nice. So weekly was built and this Tuesday, so only a few days from now, we will require Java 17. Java 11 ah. support will end in Jenkins Weekly beginning next week. A blog post from Basil Crow about it that describes, hey, here's what's happening and uh, onward then Basel has provided this really elegant graph of the life cycle of Java virtual machine usage. Each of the different colors represents a, a version of the JVM. And you see the nice steep decline of Java 8 yep. or, and the nice similar decline of Java 11 while Java 17 is climbing. And yes, people can either switch to Java 17 or they can switch to Java 21. Both are fully supported. All right. Then Chris Stern has agreed to be release lead for our next LTS. And we just released a new LTS yesterday. So four weeks from now, thanks to Chris for being a re release lead twice in a row. And our contributor spotlight highlights Vandit Singh, a documentation contributor. So special whoa, thanks. Whoa. Yeah, Vandit was a was a contributor on in Google Summer of Code twenty twenty three. Yeah, he did the uh, the the Antora based version documentation site, and it continues. So docs.jenkins.io is looking very good. Chris Stern has taken on an additional role there of keeping it up to date about once a month mm -hmm. with the official site. Okay. So, so it's looking good. There's, there is still more work to do. It's not done, but the navigation is so much nicer. It, it just, and Tora navigates so very well. Ah, fabulous. Uh -huh. And then we had infra, the InfraStat site. I met with um, Shlomo, I forget Shlomo's last name, about this Google Summer of Code project. It's to improve this site. And Meg, you'll remember this site, I bet. Stats.jenkins.io looks like this. Yeah. Oh, not, not status. Let's look at stats. Sorry, stats there. Jenkins Infra Statistics. So let's look at one of the detailed graphs like this. Wow. <laughs> or <laughs> this one. Wow. <laughs> So, so not especially pretty. 
pretty, this not year. meaningful, but pretty. Um, yeah, well, and and even getting meaning out of them is difficult because of how not pretty they are. Yeah. So so, but what he's doing is looking for ways to present a much better user interface and a much better representation of those Jenkins statistics. Oh, he showed a demonstration exactly. and his demonstration looks really good. All right. All right. So then let's see. The next stop was, oh, we talked about version docs already. Mm -hmm. Next next story then is the Jenkins switch from Jetty 10 to Jetty 12. So here there's a big picture story. Spring Security 5.x is end of life 31 August 2024. But Jenkins uses Spring Security 5.x heavily. Uh. It's our frame, it's our authentication framework. Okay. Oh. Spring Security 6 requires Jakarta EE9. So Java X dot serve no Jakarta dot servlet instead of Java X dot servlet. Oh. And it requires Java 17. And it requires, let's see, what are some of the other things? How about Java 19? No, not Java. Oh, not, not <laughs> oh, that's a terrible thing to say. It's Java 17. Thank you. Good catch. Java 17. And it requires, there are like five or six. Oh, yes. Jetty 12 as a web container. And Jetty 12 and commons file upload two. And if you can imagine how daunting it is to try to make all those upgrades and still retain compatibility. Yes. Because we want to run 10 year old plugins still. We don't want to break them. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. Gesundheit. So Sorry. work to be done. So, so Basil Crow and Adrien Le Charpentier have been doing major work to uh, implement, test, build, prototype, uh, look for ways to do this compatibly. And uh, I've been thoroughly impressed and so impressed that I'm actually running it as running a prototype of it as my usual test setup. Ah. And uh, it's going well. Well, it's there's an enormous amount of work still to do. Oh, right? yeah, we've, but we've we think we've got months of work to do. But even with months of work, the fact that a prototype is running and not falling over while I do plug in builds and while I do defect verification or while I evaluate pull requests is quite impressive. So, yeah, it's it's the work, uh, enormous work over the summer. multiple phases and the it'll be we did first phase commons file upload two it's already done second phase will be next week require java 17 then sometime in july we'll upgrade from jetty 10 to jetty 12 okay uh three blocking issues that are that are have been need to be resolved uh one of those basil just resolved today uh, two, I had started work on, and I need to do some more research before I get a final answer on them. Uh, but it's looking very promising that this one, this one, by the time we get to July, we'll be ready for it. Then that's when we make, make the change, oh, go ahead. No, I just said that's wonderful. Mm. Yeah. The next change is even bigger, though. It's where we go from Jetty 12 running EE8, so Enterprise Edition 8, Java X dot servlet to EE9, the Jakarta servlet stuff. And this one needs even more work. So there's going to be an awful lot of work there. And Basil and Adrian both have exploration that they're doing to try to see what's happening. This is the prototype I'm running. I'm delighted. And Bruno Verachten has done a, an easy way to let other people experiment with the pro prototype 
using his tutorials project. Wonderful. You, you remember that we had remember, this thing. Yeah. Here, I've got to show it because I'm still so proud of what he's done. <laughs> if we look at the tutorials, the Docker tutorials like build a Java app with Maven now has this very nice, simple, this is how you start. Um, marvelous. And, and it is. So, so I am so pleased with that. And if you want to switch and test drive with, with the pre-release Jetty 12 EE9 code, all you do is change this thing to check out the Spring security branch from this repository and then run the same commands. Ah, It's that simple. It's really elegant and gives a great sense of hey this this could be done it's 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 feasible when when a demonstration feels that good it really is feasible yeah so that's that's the set of all things that i had anything else meg that you wanted to review no i'm impressed these guys think they're going to get it done by the time support ends. well we'll we'll bring we'll bring a bunch of people on to help we've got we're going to need a large team of people to do it and we we hope to recruit that large team from both the Jenkins community and from inside CloudBees. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, Meg, thank you. Thanks for your time. Absolutely. Thanks for your meeting. All right. We'll see you. See you next week. Bye. Bye.